Okay, this week's grocery haul is from Kroger, and I really need to call this week my massive grocery haul. There's Andre. Um, I have never probably had my table quite this full ever, like ever, from a grocery haul. I uh, kid you not, I spent $197 on food, and that was with a few coupons. And that also does not include lunches for everybody through the week. Uh, I'm going to be running out of freezer space if I bought lunches for all the kids and my husband for the week, so I only got an enough lunches for them to cover like half of the week. Um, but as far as like dinner, snacks, drinks, fruit, most of that stuff. This should last us a whole week, if not plus some. Um, the only reason I spent so much is they were having some really good sales in Kroger today and they had a lot of like buy five, save five dollars and um, I did buy a few extra things that I don't always typically buy and of course y'all know how that makes your grocery bill go up. I bought some things that were just you know, it looked good in the summertime. You know, it's so hot. It's like 102 heat index today. Like refreshing drinks, you know, they get me every time. Just like smoothies get me every time. So anyway, let me just go on and get started. And a disclaimer, there are going to be healthy foods in this grocery haul along with some processed foods. I've had someone make some comments on my videos recently about all the processed foods that I buy. If you don't really enjoy watching my grocery hauls because of the many processed foods that I buy just don't even watch starting at this point. Uh, we don't eat processed foods all day every day. We eat healthy foods as well. But I do buy processed foods for my kids lunches through the summer. Only through the summer but through the summer. And we don't always eat the healthiest of meals but we usually have vegetables with our meals at night. And we like our fruits. I don't always show fruits in grocery hauls because I go to the farmers market. I go to stores throughout the week. I just don't show them in a grocery haul. I only feel like I should show a grocery haul that's like a week's worth. I don't want to show a grocery haul with like six items. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there. But let me go on and get started. Oh, and by the way, I did spend about $20 in non-food items. I was completely out of deodorant, so this is the deodorant I use. And it's hard to find. It, Kroger has it. A couple other places have it. Um, so I definitely needed to get that while I was there. And then these are the probiotics I use at Kroger. They're one of my favorites, and I take one of these every day. And this is the brand shampoo and conditioner that I buy. I had plenty of shampoo, but I had to get some more conditioner. And then we were almost out of garbage bags, so I bought more garbage bags. And those four items pretty much um, brought me to like $20 because probiotics and then that conditioner is not like super cheap. Okay, and then I got two boxes of these Pastaroni chicken and broccoli pasta. I usually get four boxes of this for my family, but they were out of it. They only had two boxes left, so I'm gonna have to go back and get two more boxes one day. But we add like a grilled chicken to it and make like a chicken pasta, it's really good. And then I got two packs of ground beef for meals. Um, I needed some more shredded mozzarella cheese and then I got a bag of peas and carrots and one bag of corn because I'm making chicken pot pie soup. Normally that's something we eat only in the winter but I haven't had it in a while and it's really good soup. And then I got a bag of steak fries to go with a meal one night and then a pretty good bit of canned foods. I got two of these black eyed peas with snaps. Um, for a side item and then I got a bunch of these Vienna sausages. Isaac likes to eat these as a snack. And tuna which is one of our favorite things so I got two more cans of tuna. And then I got a can of, two cans of cream of potato, one can of cream of chicken um, for that chicken pot pie soup. And then I got a can of sloppy joe sauce. We're gonna have sloppy joes one night. Um, got this parmesan cheese because we were almost out of it. And then I got a can of this Italian style green beans. Andre likes this a lot and I got that to go with the meal one night. And got some more of this oven roasted chicken breast uh -oh, that I so did not mean to buy. Interesting. I meant to get oven roasted turkey. I don't know. Do y'all like this stuff? I've never bought oven roasted chicken breast lunch meat before. I hope it's good because I don't really feel like going back up there and exchanging it. That's too much of a pain. I meant to get turkey though because I was going to make salads. Um, and put turkey on it for like lunches and stuff and I didn't mean to get chicken breast but I don't know maybe it's good enough and then uh, some more square cheese and then I got this ragu mushroom and green pepper I'm actually trying a new recipe it's called like Italian Parmesan chicken or something like that and this goes on it and then I love this Uncle Ben's broccoli rice au gratin so I got that to go with the meal 
Uh, I got some more of this fried green tomato batter mix. This is some delicious batter mix, y'all, for like if you want to make fried green tomatoes or fried dill pickles. It's so good. It says Cajun Classics, but it's really not spicy because I'm not like a huge spicy person. This is not very spicy at all. Uh, and I got this to go with some green tomatoes. I'll show y'all. I wanted to make fried green tomatoes with a meal one night. I've been craving those. I haven't had those in like two years. Um, I bought some wheat thins. I love those. I got two things of Pop-Tarts, the chocolate chip, and then this just store brand Fudge Frosted. Uh, Andre wanted some watermelon, so he got some watermelon for his um, fruit for this week. And then I got a bunch of bananas. Um, I got this cappuccino. The kids and Dennis like cappuccino a lot, and I think I want to even try this one. It's white chocolate caramel cappuccino, um, just the K-Cups. And then I got several of these little containers. They like the like easy grab and go containers in my house. So these have like pineapples and blueberries, strawberries. I got two of those. I got one with just some pineapple and then I got one with just some berries, all different kind of berries. My husband likes those. And then I got a bag of um, field greens with just like the carrots and radishes in them so I can make salads for a couple days for my lunch. And then I got two bags of these popped rice crisps, the chocolate, because these are super good. And so when I'm craving a snack in place of my M&Ms, I've been trying to eat these. And then I got a big bag of these variety chips because they were on sale this week. I got some Colby Jack, um, just like cheese sticks for a snack. I needed some more shredded sharp cheddar cheese. My husband requested that I buy this red rose sausage. I'm not really a fan of this stuff, but he likes it. And then these are my fried green tomatoes, and I got like five or six of them, I think, so I can make fried green tomatoes one night. And then somewhere I should have another bag of this. I got two bags of these beer battered fish fillets. We're gonna eat those one night. Um, I got a thing of 100% apple juice. Oh, there goes the other bag of the fish. I got some more of these uh, Raymond noodles, the shrimp flavor, because we all like that just for like a quick and easy snack. And then I've tried these before. These are the Jamba uh, brand all natural smoothies. They have all different kinds. This one's called Razzmatazz and it's got strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and then non-fat yogurt. And then this one is Caribbean Passion with mango, strawberry, and peach and non-fat yogurt. And you just add um, eight ounces of apple juice to it, mix it up in your blender, and it's just to make two eight ounce smoothies. I've actually bought these ones before and they are really, really good. So I decided to get both of these to try. I don't think I've tried either of these flavors. And then I got some grilled chicken breast strips for um, that pasta I was telling y'all about. And then I got a bunch of lunches, as you can see, all processed foods there. Hope y'all are liking that. And a couple more processed foods lunches. Hope y'all are liking that. And then I got these. Um, sausage biscuits these are like quick and easy to eat my husband's always in a rush getting ready for work in the morning he likes to just grab these heat them up and go and then i've got six chicken breasts right here and that's when i'm going to make that italian parmesan chicken i was telling y'all about so i hope that comes out good because we've never made it like that before but i have a recipe i want to try and then i got a can of crescent rolls to go with that soup that i'm going to make and then Andre saw these and they were on sale. It's goldfish and these are the mix up. Half of them are extra cheddar goldfish and then half of them are pretzel goldfish. You and Isaac are gonna have to try these. Andre and tell me how you like them. And then um, I got a loaf of bread, hamburger buns, uh, more processed lunches. I know y'all were just loving that. And then I got, these were on sale. I got a big old huge box of Eggo waffles because I can eat two and they're within my calorie range for breakfast. And Andre likes to eat these for breakfast as well. Some more lunches, because again, I have to get lunches for Dennis, my niece, both of my boys, and then if I happen to want one, and I don't eat too many of them, I have um, this one for me and it's the diet version of the pepperoni pizza snackers. Um, but then I got salads for a couple days too and then i was almost at a creamer so this is the creamer that's my favorite one to use and then i love simply lemonade and this is the simply lemonade with raspberry i've had it several times it's super yummy um i had to get a gallon of milk i got some more of these hugs juices that y'all know that oh god i'm dropping my camera <laughs> the hugs juices that um y'all know that we like to drink and these are good they have 75 percent less sugar than most of the other juices there's only 10 calories in each thing and it comes with 20 of them and they are eight ounces so you actually get more for your money with these and they're a little bit healthier than some of the other ones too 
And then I got some fudge rounds for the kids for a snack. I got two different kinds of soda for the week. And am I leaving out anything? I think that is probably everything. I hope I'm not leaving out anything. But this should be enough dinners for the week. We've got plenty of snacks and drinks for the week. So all I have to go back and buy are um, those two boxes of pasta and then some more lunches later on in the week. But this pretty much covers everything. I did, like I said, get a few extra things I normally don't buy. So it made the total come out to be a lot higher. But I don't always buy this many groceries every blue moon. So Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys next week for the next one. Bye.